Good morning, guys, or good afternoon, wherever you may be. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, the geysers have been really active today. Even the geyser watchers are commenting how active they have been. Um, yeah, things are heating up. USGS, USBS is only reporting two earthquakes so far today. A 1.0 at 642. Now that was at uh, Yellowstone Lake. And then a 0 0.5 Spencer, Idaho. Using Google Earth, here's the location of that earthquake. Uh, down over here, let me bring this out. This is the promontory. Here we have Frank Island. And this is the area where the earthquake swarm's been happening. Over on the left, that is Little West Thumb. This earthquake was only 1.24 miles. All earthquakes are measured from sea level. I have four monitors here. The one on the left is Borehole 208 for Yellowstone Lake. Uh, the next one that I am circling here is Maple Creek. This is Little West Thumb, and this is Lake Butte. This is that earthquake they are saying is a magnitude 1.0. There's its signature. In truth, it is a magnitude 1.81. This comes from the borehole 208 at Yellowstone Lake, and all boreholes are very deep wells dug into the ground. Here's an example of one of those boreholes, 207 Madison River. Okay, so we got a top casing of cement closing it off. Okay, uh, and we'll come down here. The stream meter is 687 feet, uh, 681 feet. Uh, the seismograms, the monitors to measure the earthquakes are 663 feet below the earth. And here's a map showing that location. I'll give you a link to this document. Borehole 208. Try and bring this up a little bit. There you go. They have images here of the type of rock that they had to go through when they put in these uh, boreholes. And it shows rhyolite here at a depth of 800 feet. So like I said, these are very deep wells. Another image here, we have Lake Village, and it talks about the uh, rhyolite flows and when they were putting in this borehole, um, how deep it was that they encountered that. When they drilled for this borehole, they found that what they call the West Thumb Rhyolite Flow is over 400 feet in this area. All right, let me zoom in using Google Earth. This is the location of the village. And here we have uh, the station monitor. All right, so we got another earthquake right here. Let me get it on the line right there. Now that is at uh, 1030 and 30 seconds universal time. There, I made it bigger for the borehole. Uh, this earthquake is not being reported. Hard to tell which area the earthquake is stronger. It looks like it came in at Maple Creek first. You can see that red line as I move it. So I'm going to take a measurement from there. I'll make that bigger. It actually looks like two earthquakes that came in very quick. One there, and then another one or a continuation of the rumbling. It just kind of started with a rip and then went across. So I'll just do the first part, which comes in as a magnitude 1.48. Probably in the area of uh, Maple Creek, Madison River, etc. If I wanted to do the second half, it would come in as a 2.59. Altogether, it would be a magnitude 3, which... I really don't think that is the case. I just think it was an extendedly long earthquake. It just kind of rattled along for a while, probably a, a, a long fracture, but small. 
here on the stream view, you can see there is several earthquakes that match up for not just Maple Creek, but Little West Thumb. And we got another one coming in right now. And this data here, I haven't pulled. All right, 1536. It goes between 10 seconds and 15 seconds. We'll look at the spectrogram. They haven't reported this one. That comes in as a magnitude 1.37. All right, the next one they're not reporting, uh, 1456. And we'll look at the spectrogram, the signature. That comes in as a 1.85. All right, the next one we got here, that's that one. There's a little tiny one there. That comes in as a 1.54. Now this is Maple Creek, okay? And then we got this one right there, 1418, another one that went for a long time. Look at that. Yeah, it's actually looks like another little ripple through there. I'll show you. Oh, you probably can't see there. Yeah, it looks like definitely Maple Creek is the larger. See the red line I'm moving across? And it shows up on all four monitors. I want to show you what's been going. Well, let's take a look at, I don't want to jump around here. I want to go to Little West Thumb and what's been happening there. Yeah, popping of the rock. Those of you that follow me um, will know that the same signature that's showing up at Kilauea Volcano there in Hawaii. It's got the same signature. And I, I mentioned that when I was showing the monitors there. Um, they just recently, yesterday in fact, raised the level to watch, which means, yeah, it's probably going to erupt. And I've been telling you that, just like I've been telling you how here at um, Yellowstone, it's been gearing up for an eruption. Let me make that bigger. There you go. Uh, 643. And I'm going to bring it down because that is a magnitude 1.80 at Little West Thumb. And look at the heat. All right. The significance of Little West Thumb, besides having rhyolite flows of over... 400 feet is this is a little miniature caldera that they believe erupted oh 162 to 150,000 years ago um there is an area over here where they did have a hydrothermal explosion that was duck lake that was only 4,000 to 6,000 years ago. There has been smaller eruptions. Thank God they were small. Uh, within the last 10,000 years, uh, Native Americans have talked about these eruptions. And I'm going to see if I can zoom out. There's um, more cinder cones and recent, recently discovered uh, lava flows that they didn't even know existed until recently uh, when they were surveying for a road going from the Madison River area up to the Montana border by Gardner Mammoth. I tried to look for some of them using Google Earth. I mean, it's like they don't spend the money for research unless they absolutely have to. They depend on other people, other groups, universities to come in and uh, <laughs> do the research for, for them. Um, but over here, yeah, there's a, there's a small, small volcano cone and small lava flows that they didn't even know existed until just a few years ago. There, I zoomed into one of them. Let's see if I can turn that to get a better view of it. All 
that's just one yeah kind of like that thermal area um, they didn't know that even existed until they started looking at satellite um, images and they thought oh that's been going on for a couple of years and then you can see all the dead trees in this area look at that looks like there's another lava flow over here and yeah let me bring it out a little bit yeah we got more lava flows here but this is from little west thumb these are all the uh, breaking the cracking let me get it up there of the ground as the ground gets brittle they have these little earthquakes popping and I've explained it uh, before it's kind of like um, glass breaking it's so hard to stay on these lines because they're off see how I'm, I'm even off where the line is at because uh, yeah the, the monitor I think is uh, a little skewed but this is what it was showing when I pulled the files see that volcanic tremors and there's the spectrogram now this is the borehole for Yellowstone Lake let me pull it up for you borehole 208 and you can see there's lots of them marked in red and when you start having an indication that there is magma that the borehole is picking up under the ground you know things are very serious and this is what it was showing when I pulled the files yep. look at them all marked in red see that pop 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 drum beats pop 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 the same over here pop pop Oh. go to the spectrogram Lake Butte now that's on the opposite side of the lake let me show you all right here's the fishing bridge here's that earthquake station for the borehole and over here on the right remember I talk about how the, the magma comes in from two different directions uh, flows under the lake we got that crack we got that deep canyon 350 feet um, down that's bringing up the hot gases and over here on the right is Lake Butte and there's a line of melt this is what it was showing when I pulled the files this is what they call technically call blobs of magma coming into the system and this is the very end all right so let's close this and there's that one earthquake yeah see how it yeah the heat hold on from that one earthquake uh 10 30 and 15 seconds not being reported there's a signature and it lasted a long time see that harmonic tremors that is harmonic means magma is on the move blobs of magma and then we got more popping look at this let me see if I can get that pop 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 popping going on all the way over on the opposite side of the lake you can see it all see that see all those little little lines throughout here yeah pop 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 and there's the spectrogram as it brought up the hot gases let me bring it over yep things are not normal are pigs flying yeah we got a whole series of them right here too anyways that's all I have for you right now any thoughts or comments or questions please put it below Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Um, always be safe.
Always be prepared for a disaster, fire, tornado, hurricane, storms, flooding, and volcanic eruptions. Always be prepared. You know, that less than 10% of the population is actually prepared. And when they go to the store and rush out to buy their food when there's a disaster, it's going to be first come, first serve, right? And many are going to be left out because they did not prepare ahead of time. So please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you.